Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is an incredibly aching Jade Star, and this is how to app on iOS. And today, let's jump the shark with Hammerhead. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Hey, I hope you're all doing well. If you are watching over at Facebook, welcome along to the chat. You can also join us here with all the wonderful chatters. Chatters? Oh, wonderful folks here who participate in the chat over here on the YouTube at youtube.com slash shade star, or you can watch the show daily from the website at how to app on iOS.com. Also, the show streams daily over at Le Twitch at uh, <laughs> twitch.tv slash how to app on iOS. That's all that stuff out of the way. Yeah, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, bing, boom. Yeah. What? <laughs> hey, what's going on to everybody over in the chat? Let me get my shit together. See who's over here today. I can start off by saying Russ isn't here with us today. Uh, he's on holiday kind of thing. So Russ, on the replay, I'm just saying hi to you. Um, for those of you who were on the Patreon yesterday and had songs mastered, you should have received those in your mailbox about 15 minutes ago. Sorry they were late. I ended up... Um, finishing my two streams yesterday and collapsed into bed woke up later on and <laughs> the pain man <laughs> i'm in a lot of pain today I'm, trust me this smile is hiding a lot of pain from moving a fridge uh, 24 hours later my body is absolutely fucked uh, Anyway, that's enough about the pain, who cares? Let's push through the pain today because Audible Video is here, not a box is here. Pain to get is here. Long time no see, pain to get. Ching, 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 ching. Um, Scott is here, Thomas Christ is here, Jimmy Craw is here, hello to you all. Whoa, Lottie B Studios is here as well, hello. Um, <laughs> Pete Johns, hey, it's Pete Johns, man, it's Pete Johns, it's Pete Johns, it's Pete Johns to Pete Johns to... I'm going to put a T on the end of your name every time too. Yeah, boy. Um, I'm excited because today's app's really fun. Yeah. Oh, man, I forgot to mute my phone. Let's do that. Mute. Let's make the phone go mute. Hello, Joe. What do you know? Hello, I have an idea. I have an idea what you're up to today. <laughs> Silver Fox. Wow. <laughs> uh, who else is here? I'm going to have to rely on sound effects today. <laughs> uh, who's here? It is the infamous, the one, the only. Dr. Zorders. Uh, Sai, it's effing good to see you. Hello to you. Um, uh, who else? Have, uh, Joshua Good, hello to you, my friend. I think I've covered most people. Uh, Thomas Galane. Hello, Thomas. Uh, Rockstar1958, hello to you too. Sean McMahon, hello. Good to see everyone here. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to have some fun. Gonna have some. I nearly tried to start moving my arms up in the air, but that's a real dumb move because they hurt. <laughs> Put your arms in the air if you really don't care and you've got no brains and you try to move a fridge by yourself. Yeah, see how's that hip. Um, hello, uh, Ambo Hounslow. All right, I'm talking shit way too much at the moment. Let's check out latest apps on sale. Not much has changed from the last uh, day or so. Uh, tonality's on, uh, gone down from six bucks. It's free. Get it. Get Tonality. It's really cool. Grab it. It's free. Get it. It's free. It's free. It's free. Tonality. There you go. Um, really good for your, your chords, guitar chords, piano chords, all that kind of thing. All the session bands still on sale. Oh, I can let you know too. Geo Shred, I think the violin, if you own Geo Shred, if you go into Geo Shred, the violin is on sale at the moment. There's another little thing that's on sale that might have slipped your notice. Hello, uh, let, me, oh, let me find a sound effect for Sabo. Sabo Kadabra. Here we go. Hello, Sabra Kadabra. That's your sound effect from now on, Sabra Kadabra, right? <laughs> Sabra Kadabra! There you go. Sabra gets a sound effect <laughs> for the elder. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's, your, that's your price drops for the day. There we go. That's that. We can cover that. 
and all that. We are looking at today, um, of course, Hammerhead. Why Hammerhead? Because it's cool, man. It's brand boss. It's awesome. It's heaps of fun. Yeah, and um, everyone will eventually get their own theme song. Once I fill up this board, I've got a whole bunch of new sound effects, which I'm going to be implementing soon. I got a new um, camera mount yesterday, too. Where this camera is here. Um, so I've got this new camera mount, which is a snake. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of, sort of. It's like a, it's like a twisty, turny snake. So it's like a bendy snake, and it's like about a meter and a half high. So I can do some overhead shots, looking down soon. So I'm gonna have three cameras soon. Once in the very near future, once um, some things get sorted out in my house, we're gonna be moving studio possibly and we can have like a, a a drum section where you can uh, get the camera go over to the drums and guitar section it's going to be really cool so keep watching the channel because changes are coming um so we are looking at today i'm getting sidetracked uh hammerhead let's do a search for it because i can't remember how much it is so hammerhead rhythm section it is seven dollars 99 super cheap for what it can do if you don't get you know there's, we had FAC drum kit come out, and that's a completely different thing to this. So this is a sequencer compared to that. So if this is more your bag, this is going to uh, make you happy as well. Um, so let's jump over and open it up and have a play, because what I'm going to do is um, run through how to use it and everything. And then at the end, I'm going to import a whole lot of my um, drum samples, which if you look in the description right now, there's a link to my gigabyte pack of acoustic drums. Uh, so if you'd like to download those, those are there free of charge. Free, okay? So they're in the description. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Alrighty, All righty, so we are in AUM and let's open up Lehmer Head. And uh, this is the wonderful interface that you are presented with when you open it up. Um, I've got my preset in here, but I'm going to get out of that because we'll save that. As you can see, two presets, Metal 1 and Metal 2. <laughs> Let's go into the factory stuff. Let's just load up uh, the first preset in here and give you an idea of how it all works, what it does. Okay, so it's a step sequencer kind of deal. All right, um, you've got... Across the top here, you, you can you've got your pieces of your kit. So you got a in, in this particular uh, preset, you've got a kick and a snare and a clap and a rim shot and a space tom and noise, closed hi hat and an open hi hat. How do you get to these? Well, you can click across the top and get them. See, just by clicking across the top. Or an alternative, as you can see, when I go across, you can see they move down. And to the side here, you've got these up and down buttons. So you can actually go up and down, and you've got, got them on both sides, which is really cool. Two, two ways to uh, get to everything, yeah? So that's really nice. Um, and along the bottom, you have a whole bunch of options as well. So you have a velocity button, which we have selected now. Uh, then you can go to pitch, and you can see this line across the top here. Let's just... Uh, oh, before I go hang on, before I go back down here, let's concentrate back on these top this top row here. If you hold down on any of these for a period of time, this will come up and you have now muted that particular instrument. So you just close to uh, stop that and hold down, hold down, and you can see when this little uh, panel comes up here, this little uh, uh, mixer comes up, you can see what's muted and what's not muted. So you've got these little mutes down the bottom, yeah? So you can mute at any time. So let's go in and just mute. Now we've got this uh, kick muted. Damn, I didn't silence my other phone. <coughs> yeah. So we just got a four on the floor happening here. Um, and as we'll go back down to the bottom here. So now we're on this little pitch, so you've got velocity. So I can change the velocities of these. Yeah. Throw in a few more, bo -bo -bo -bo. change all the velocities. It's really easy, just slide your finger along. You can draw stuff. Whoops. 
super easy to draw stuff. And you can get rid of more really easy just by drawing down. Boom. And we're back on a four and a floor. We can go to the pitch here and we can, we can actually change, yeah. And we can draw in pitches as well really easily. Super simple to do, yeah? Lovely. Bring it back to the center. Boom. Uh, you've got decays here, so you can, you can draw in your decays for each hit. Pretty, pretty, you know, simple stuff. It's, uh, you know, I'm not, not teaching rocket science here or anything. And it's lovely, you can just draw stuff in, make it all full across the top. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, you've got chance, so if you're feeling lucky, do you feel lucky, punk? You can change the chance of these. So your randomization, it'll decide on the magic of chance. If the kick's going to trigger or whatever um, instrument or part of the kit that you're on will trigger. See, that time around, boom, it's hammer time. <laughs> I had to say it once, folks. Pretty, pretty um, happening stuff. So you got a flam here. All right, so you get a little bra, 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 bra. Get some flams happening. So you can do a bit of flim flamming, a bit of flim flamming around. You got a, your triggers as well. And you get some ratchet in there. You can control how many of them by lowering the level. We can bring them all back down and have none. We'll go back to the flam, we'll remove the flams. And uh, look, that's, that's, that's pretty, and the start point, uh, so you got a sample start. So if you've got a sample in here, that's what uh, this little section is for, yeah? So you can, uh, if you've imported a set, it's either here, we've, So we'll get back to that a little bit later, but that's pretty much the bottom. And so you got the top across here, bottom. Let's get out of uh, here and unmute. Oh, boom. So let's look at the top here. Let's have a look at the top, uh, all the functions across the top. Um, so, you've got this shuffle knob up here, and I think you can guess what that does. Let's turn up to full and see what it does. So we've given it a little off step kind of shuffle there. So now it sounds like an old man kind of wandering through the streets, dancing at the same time. Let me turn that down. You've got this soul. And every time I turn that up, I always think the devil's going to appear and say, I'm come for your soul. And each time I say, you can have my soul, my fucking asshole. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> across from here, you can copy patterns. All right. So I can, if I click on across here, you've got eight patterns in here. Yeah. So you can see there's eight little patterns here. We're on pattern one. If I go to pattern two now, there's nothing there, right? Nothing there. So if we go back to pattern one, I can go over to this button here and hit copy, go over to pattern two and hit paste pattern. Bang. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, Peppy, that, that soul joke, that was like five minutes ago, dude. Right. So you can copy stuff across. Really easy to do, yeah? Super simple. And, um, you can load your presets. Let's have a look at presets for a little bit now. And then we'll come back and we'll look at the the, 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 uh, the programs here. And then we'll look at importing sounds and the chants and everything. Because it's really fun. So, here's where you load your presets. Now you've got a bunch of sections. You've got your factory section. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, yeah? You've got a whole bunch of guest. Guest creators who've added their stuff. So... Man, there's so much fun in here. Let's go through some factory stuff. 
So this is 1997. <clears throat> Remember, at any time you can change these. So this particular one. Nice. So while we've got this on here, I just want to show you this little section here. So this is a little glitch section, right? And you've got chaos and how much the chaos will happen. So a chance button. So the, as you can see on this particular preset, the ch chaos is turned up full. So if we take this out, it's pretty much more standard kind of stuff. If we turn up the chaos and then turn up the chance, check this. How fucking crazy is that, man? I love this app so much. It's heaps of fun. Oh, I haven't copied anything over there. So some of these, um, let's just give it a quick stop. So some of these uh, presets have got um, uh, whole uh, pages in here, whole sections, or so you can. They're already programmed, but some of them only have one, like this one in particular. So let's go through a few more. Let's uh, hit the beach, because <laughs> and at any time in here, um, so you can see across the top what is in each uh, preset, which is really cool. Yeah. So you've got a, a roof maker, maker kick in here. And uh, this one, so go to the velocity. So you've got a tune snare. And at any time you can change these out, right? So you just head over to sounds, click on it, and you get a whole bunch of stuff you can just throw in here, yeah? So we're on a tune snare at the moment. change anything else that you want we'll get into sampling soon hello Doug good to see you, Doug <laughs> we'll come back to having a look at the samples importing samples all that stuff let's go through a few more presets so not only can you uh, do drums in here use the drums that are in here you've got a drum synth you can import samples and you have a whole bunch of you know uh, preset uh, kit pieces in there yeah and you can see what we have here is this snare is this uh, drum synth so we can go in here and you've got a whole lot of options to change from a sign to a square all this kind of stuff yeah you can change the pitch and all that jazz. Let's just, before we get into that, go through a few more presets. Booyah! Now you'll notice with this particular preset, it's set to sequence. So it's jumping between these two up here. So you can see it's skipping. You've also, you can uh, select random. So if you've got a whole number, if you've got all eight of them in there, it'll randomly jump between them. Or you can run it in the sequence. Or you can just go manual and stay on your one and you can choose them individually. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jolly Boy? So you've also got this mutation button. Let's just play with it on here. So over here, you've got this ace mutation button. So let's mutate the fuck out of this. Man, 
There is so much fun to have with this fucker. another preset. So look, within your presets, you've got a hell of a lot of stuff here to play with um, off the bat. And let's let's remember, you've got plenty of stuff you can import. You can import samples, uh, you can import sounds, you know, voices, whatever you want, you can import. You can import other drums, which we're going to do too. I'm going to import an acoustic kit. And we're going to do a death metal glitch core track right at the end of this. So again, this preset has uh, two pages here for the sequence. At any time you can change stuff out. So don't let these congas in here. So we're gonna hit sounds. We're gonna go the bongo instead. Super easy, you just you know, as you can see, you just can flick your hands on it. Have a flick. <laughs> you don't, even, <laughs> don't even need any skill being a drummer. I've got a bloody drum kit sitting over there. I don't even need it right now. Because I can just flick my finger. <laughs> awesome fun. Audible video, bright example, BJ in the bed. <laughs> so it's an AUV3 plugin, as you can see, you can open up a garage band, you can open up in uh, a Cubasis. So let's have a look at the mixer now while we're in here. So over here you've got the mixer. And you've got a compressor on each of the tracks. And uh, let's just mute this kick. So just remember, you just hold down on the kick. So uh, I just hold down to mute. And there you go. So, I, and here's your really cool, I, I really love this. So you've got your left and right pan, your volume. You got a compressor, plus you got a distortion as well, and the distortion can be found over here. You've got an amount of distortion. You've got a few different types of distortions. So you got like a grid fracture. Yeah, man. Let's go with that. So you got a compressor as well. So let's jump on to the snare. And we've got the compressor. The compressor's already on. So let's head over to the compressor here. And you've got a whole bunch of different compressions. Hard limiter, punchy, snappy, some glue, some pumping. We'll give it a punchy one. You can control the amount. Same with the distortion over here too. So look, it, uh, th this is absolutely for the expert. This is absolutely for the beginner because there's just no experience really necessary. If you can count to four, then you can count to eight, and then you can count to 16, and you can make a beat, man. A few more presets.
So this particular sound is a drum synth, right? And we can change the noise level on it. We can change the, the modulator so we can pull it right back and get an FM sound. Take out the mess with the decay. And the pitch. Got a resonator here at the end. So we're using the sign here. You can copy this patch as well and, and you can paste this patch into another a track. You can even randomize. <laughs> so the sky's the limit, man. Absolutely. To sit here and have a drum synth as well built into this is just fancy pantsy. to save something too. So if you like what you've created here, you just hit save preset and call it bum bum. Done. And you can find that now in your user patches. There it is. All good. Let's go to the bottom and come work our way up. create a, a, a absolute full full sound like this magic it is magic it's like eight bucks of magic let's let's just go and skip ahead and have a look at some of the some of the creators presets yeah so you got all these guest presets Let's start off in the middle with Heinbach. <laughs> of course. Of course I'm going to pick Heinbach. I love Heinbach. To load a new preset. How long does it take to load a new preset? To create one from scratch or, or like just load one? Like, like it's virtually that. Instant. So we've got new tricks in here, a whole bunch of sounds from heaps of famous people. And as you can see, going back to up the top here, we have this particular sound has five pages. So it's running in a sequence here as its sequence is chosen. I can hit random and now they'll you'll see they'll jump between. So we're going from one to three to two to four. There's a lot of a lot of variation. So don't just think this is like some kind of dance machine or anything like that. This is this is whatever you want this to be. 
This, this is the beauty of it. Like, uh, there may be people out there who don't write electronic music and may think, uh, you know, this is just for dance heads. No, 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 it's not. Because you can import anything you want, which we'll get to very shortly. So we got a bunch of Dean sounds in here as well. Let's uh, let's give it some chaos and glitch the fuck out of it. We do live for music. I do anyway. Let's give it a bit of mutation. Man, exactly what Doug wrote there. It's absolutely instant, man. You just drag your finger across. Let me go here. And it's, whatever you want to do to it, it's absolutely instant. We can chuck a compressor on here, on this cowbell. We can change this cowbell out. Super quick. No, no, here's the best thing. You don't have to use your brains. It's perfect for me. So we got uh, some patches from uh, the Discord, from Discord channel. Boom. Boom. DJ Puzzle. Did I already do this one? Find a preset and then we'll start, we'll add, throw some things in. Throw some of my own drum kits here, in. So back at uh, Heinbach, I'm gonna throw some mutation on Heinbach, like it needs any more. <laughs> Let's uh, let's go back to just the. So we've got templates here as well too. So uh, you can load in a, a, a whole bunch of templates as well. 
and you can start from scratch here and just throw in as you can see here so you've got uh, like a TR707 TR808 and then you can just build from there And you're off. Boom. How quick was that? Super, super fast, yeah? Let's just go back to uh, this sound here. And then turn it down a bit. So I'm going to import a couple of sounds here. So let's go over to the kick and let's uh, just mute uh, mute the kick, uh, solo it. So now that's soloed, we can go in here and I can uh, hit the little sounds button. And as I said, across the top, these are all your user sounds that are in here that you get to choose from. Uh, user samples and your drum synth. You can rename the track as well, whatever you want. Nice and easy. So when you hit user sample, this is what comes up here. So you get to import a wave. You've got like a choke mode for like uh, 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 crashes and stuff like that. You can clear the sample data at any time. You can change the duration of it. We're gonna hit uh, import here. And I already have, um, so this is my drum sample pack, which is in the description, acoustic kits if you wanna download it. So I can go into some kicks here and just, uh, let's just grab a kick. Okay, boom, boom. So we've got a nice kick here, nice acoustic kick, whoops, didn't want to do that. And then we can go in and uh, we can distort the fuck out of it, we can give it some volume. Now when we bring it back in. So you can virtually import any sample you want in. Let's just grab uh, the snare here. We'll hold it down. We'll import a snare from my pack. So we're going to use a sample, import. Uh, these are all the samples that are in my pack that's downloadable. So there's a, in each one of these. So you've got hi-hat samples, you've got kick samples, you've got snare samples. Let's grab some snare samples. What have we got in here? So we've got some pearl samples, a whole bunch of um, really cool s samples in here. What have we got? These are just things I've collected over the years and just put into a thing. So that's pretty low. Let's find something else. Let's grab like a uh, what do we want? Let's go back here. We'll go in here, grab a snare, get some e uh, some effect snares. There we go. Cool, yeah. So uh, we're getting close to the end. So what I'm going to do now is just load up one of my preset samples, uh, preset things that I've created. So I've gone ahead and let's just grab, I think it's a metal, let's do metal one. Yeah. So we'll turn off all the chaos and chants and all that kind of jazz. And we'll turn, take off some of the distortion, all that kind of jazz. And I've created eight pages here, uh, along here. And we'll go through them. So I'll set it to manual and I'll play them all for you and show you what I've done. Uh, these are the samples you can see across the top. I've got like a, a kick, 
uh, snare, EQ'd snare, hi-hat open, a ride. We've got a three toms, a 12, a 14, and a 16, and a crash, all acoustic stuff. So let's hit play. So clearly you can make acoustic drums. If we head over to the toms, you can see a bang, bang. So we've got those three toms at the end. Let's check out the next page. Let's go to that kick there. Next page. I can probably pull down the volume of those kicks a bit. Bring down the uh, hats a bit. Bring up that crash. Cool. So the last, the bottom row, I've got, uh, the only difference is one's got a tom roll between five and six. Then we got a... So I can hit a random sequence now. And what's really cool, we can start to bring in some glitches. And get some real crazy double kicks happening. Listen <laughs> to that shit. Give it some mutation. <laughs> and now we've got some metal glitch core happening. So we need a guitar. Need a fucking guitar. Let's set it to sequence. Pull out some of this glitch stuff here. Give it a bit of volume. Get the levels right.
Oops. go <laughs> so don't be fooled man this is not just an electronic drum machine sequencer it's so much more than that you can add voice effects you can add you can record things in garage band and then import the samples in it's absolutely shit hot so if you're on the fence oh, get off it because you might get a fence pole inside your bum bum and that would hurt <coughs> What the hell am I talking about? What I'm talking about is this app is really cool and I love it. And as you can see, it's really simple to play with, really great to make stuff with. Uh, you know what? The, the most important thing, the thing that really is getting me excited about apps at the moment is, are they fun? And this is fun. Besides anything else, it's not complicated. It's not scary to look at. It's just fun. And that's what you, if you're not, if you're making music and you're not having fun, Stop making music because music is meant to be fun and these apps are meant to be fun and, and be the tools that help you make music. Anyway, rant over. This app's sick. Thank you, uh, Bram, for providing me the code for today. I don't know what else to say. Uh, if you're on the fence, get off it. Grab it. If you don't need it, you don't need it. That's how it rolls. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had some fun. I hope this has been informative and, and all that jazz. And I will see you tomorrow no i've got no no giveaways for this for this week but um i do have other giveaways coming up uh on the patreon this weekend coming i will let you know during the week what's giveaways what are we doing this week so tomorrow we're looking at visual synth um gonna be looking gonna be revisiting an old app this week something that i did way back in the first series of how to app i'm gonna be looking at iSymphonic because I do love iSymphonic and sometimes it gets a, ba a bad rap and I want to have a good play with it and go through all the pat sounds because I have all of them on um, iSymphonic and we're going to do that and a few other apps so stick with us for the rest of this week thanks as always for supporting the channel thanks to the patrons I love your guts you guys rule and um, I will see you tomorrow for more of the same but a little bit different you know what I mean that wasn't a joke, Peppy. All right. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye. You can hit the like if you want as well, but only if you like the show. Don't play games with me and hit the like if you don't really like it. This ain't like for like, man. All right? All right. That wasn't a joke, Peppy. Oh!